Are you sick of living in the shadow with someone else? Need some help learning to love yourself and tap into your unique strengths or embrace your leadership potential so you can thrive in your life. This is Empower with Nancy. Let's start the show. Oh. Welcome to my show, Empower with Nancy. And so today, it's just going to be you and I, whoever is listening to my show today, and we're going to have a deep conversation about something that is very close to my heart, and that is being you without judgment. You know, showing up as who you really truly are, embracing the person that you are, and letting go of the weight of what others might think of you. If you felt held back from different fears, limiting beliefs, judgment, trust, you're not alone because most people feel this way in some time in their life. So let's dive deep into why it is so hard to just be ourselves at times and how we can start freeing ourselves from the heavy feeling of judgment. So let's talk about why we even fear judgment in the first place. And most of us grew up of being conditioned to care about what other people think. It's part of our social life and how we were brought up with our parents, how there's a certain way, there's the wrong way, there's a right way. And it always ends up being like, it seems like it was our parents' way and that was the only way. And so it feels as though we're constantly needing to get acceptance from others in the things that we do in the validation. But it's natural to feel that way because that is the only way we know from how we were growing up. But sometimes that desire for acceptance can really take our lives over. Feeling that you have to constantly be accepted can really take a major hinder in our lives and the way we feel. And most of us grew up being conditioned regardless of what goes on in our life. But we start hiding parts of ourself that we think others won't like. And maybe you felt that way all your life and maybe you didn't. So for example, you had a meeting at work, let's say, and you had a great idea, but you didn't share it in the meeting. Why? Maybe you thought, what if it's a dumb idea? What if I'm wrong and everyone judge me because I'm wrong? It's those what ifs start taking control and those limiting beliefs and then the confidence. And then it just goes into a spiral domino effect. So here's a little tip. When you feel the judgment creeping up, right? When you're just feeling that, I want you to take a deep breath and ask yourself, whose voice is this? Like, seriously, whose voice is this? Is this actually my belief or am I just afraid of what others might think? Often we realize that the judgment is based off of what? Assumptions. We're constantly assuming what other people think and what they're going to say. And you just picture that in your mind. And then you start to believe it because you're not feeling confident in your own self-awareness. Once you start noticing where judgments pop up, it's time to dive into your self-acceptance. And I know this is hard, but it's truly the facts. This can be tough because we often think we need to be perfect before we can accept ourselves that we need to be the way other people want us to be. But that's not the truth. It's backwards. You want to go in and start feeling and believing that you are okay, that you are enough, that it doesn't matter if you make a wrong decision or if you ask a question and it was wrong or, you know, that is how we learn. I want to share a personal story. 
There was a time in my career years and years ago when I was just getting in management, I felt I've had it really, I had everything. I had it all. I had it all together, always being the strong one, the one who always has the answers and people are constantly going to me. But deep down inside, I knew that wasn't authentic for myself. I felt like I was, you know, portraying someone that I really wasn't. And again, this was like years ago. And then I realized I was projecting this image because I was afraid of people seeing my imperfections. I thought if they see the real me of mistakes that I've made, what if they just don't respect me or they don't like me? And I even started to feel that way when I, like I said, when I was just getting to management, I wanted everyone to be my friend. I wanted everyone to like me. I wanted everyone to just do everything that I told them to do. And then I just really started to take things personal. And then this breakthrough happened when I started sharing my true thoughts and being open about my challenges. And that's why I started to kind of break out of my shell where I was being very transparent and open, regardless if I made mistakes, because nobody's perfect. It felt so uncomfortable at first for me to share, but do you know what happened? People connected more deeply with me because they were going through the same thing. I wasn't pretending anymore. And it it created a real genuine relationship within myself and relationships with others. You might try something similar for yourself for those who are challenged in this area. The next time that you're with someone you trust, share something that's true to you, even if it's something you usually hold back. This is how it feels to let them see the real you. Be authentic. Be yourself. Don't ever be someone that you are not just to fit in or just to have people look at you a certain way as how you want them to look at you. Because most of the time, they're not even thinking that you made a mistake or you don't fit in and and such. I mean, this is not high school. So where's the judgment come into play? We're starting to accept ourselves, but then comes the question. It's always that question within us. What about when people really do judge us? Because I want to be real here. Not everyone will accept us and that is okay. You're not going to resonate with everyone and that is okay. Not everyone is going to like you and that is okay. Don't feel that you have to be everyone's friend and be liked. Think of the resilient as a muscle and the more you use it, the stronger it becomes. When someone judges you or starts to bother you, you ask yourself, is this judgment aligned with my own values or is it just someone else's perfection or someone else's perception, perfection, whatever it may be, if it doesn't align with who you are or what your values are, just let it go. For example, if someone makes a comment about your career choice or life decision that doesn't align with your values or goals, remind yourself that it's their opinion only and not your truth. It is their opinion and not your truth. You're the one who lives with the results of your choices. So ultimately, you're the one who gets to decide anything, anything in your life. One thing I find helpful is to always remember that other people's opinions are often a reflection of their own insecurities or beliefs. It's rarely about us. It's more about them. So when judgment comes your way, imagine it as if they're holding a darn mirror up to themselves and not to you. Don't let someone else's mirror become yours.
A big piece of being you without judgment is learning to be compassionate within yourself. Here's a quick exercise you might try. I want you to imagine you talking to a friend who's feeling judged or who's afraid of being themselves. What would you say to them? How would you encourage them? Now take that same encouragement and turn it towards your own self. Often we're way more compassionate toward others than we are towards ourselves. If you're in a situation where you feel judged or you're judging yourself, I want you to pause and ask, what would I say to a friend who's feeling like this? It's a powerful way to start softening the self-criticism and replace it with understanding. And finally, remember that becoming judgment-free with yourself is a journey. It doesn't happen overnight. Celebrate the small wins and do a self-reflection. Did you speak up at the meeting even though you felt nervous? That is a win. Did you choose to wear something that expresses your unique style even though it is not in your current unique self of choosing what you wear on an everyday basis because you feel that you're going to be judged? Wear something of your own style as though you love it. And then that is another win because you weren't worried about other people judging you. Every time you take a step forward, being authentically you, you're building a stronger foundation for judgment-free life. Don't be hard on yourself. Take small stepping stones to be your unique self, the best version of you. No one else can tell you how to live. The choices that you want to make are your own choices. Live the life that you choose to live. So I want to leave you with this. The world doesn't need to be perfect version of you. It just needs you. Your unique quirks, your passions, your strengths. And yes, even your imperfections. Because we are not perfect. All of this makes who you truly are, period. Judgment will come and go, but the love and acceptance you build for yourself, that's what will make you resilient, fulfilled, and grounded. And remember, being you is a superpower. When you start to just love yourself, being your your unique best version of you, no one can take that away from you. Nobody, don't allow anybody to take your happiness away from you. Always feel confident. Don't worry about what other people think of you, what other people are going to say. Be your authentic self because when we make mistakes, we learn from them. Even me being a coach and having a podcast, my podcast is organic and real and open These aren't scripted podcasts. These are podcasts of how I speak and how I teach and the challenges that I faced in my own life. And so I make mistakes. I make mistakes. I may not say the perfect word or may not resonate with you. This podcast, I may resonate with people and I may not resonate with people, but that is okay. As long as I'm making a difference in someone's life, that is what matters to me. Until next time, keep being unapologetic. Remember, you have control over the will and only you can make the choices that you desire in the life that you choose to live. With gratitude, Nancy. Thank you for listening to my podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, leave a rating and review and share it with a friend. 
To connect with me and get all the behind the scenes content, you can follow me on Instagram at Empower with Nancy and visit my website, empowerwithnancy.com to learn more about how coaching with me can significantly enhance your life and business. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day. See you next time.